My name is Darius Bikte. I am a student in Professor's Patton, UNIV, 100 class, Alice for Diversity, and we had to pick for our final project to go out and volunteer. I chose to go out and volunteer on political campaign because I've always had a passion for politics and my major is political science. I just want to be out and get involved and help make a change. And you have to be able to like deal with all different types of people because I went out to the projects, the suburbs, and the trailer parks and you just have to deal with different types of people. You have to deal with people who might not look like you, sound like you, might not even agree with you, and you have to be able to deal with that in a respectful manner because you're representing a political candidate. You have to be able to be your best self and you have to be able to sell your candidate like a salesman will sell a used car. In my first, after my first like route, I got it, I got it down pat because it wasn't that hard. And I advise anyone that wants to do it to go out and canvas because it's about getting involved in your government and making a change for your future, your kids' future, for the future generations. Pick a candidate you're passionate for. That's why I chose Mimi because of all the candidates, I was the most passionate for her. And that kind of really helped me. Because after I finished like my choir hours, I kept coming back because I really wanted Mimi to win. And it was something that, it was like a, a huge motivator. And also, if you want to go on a political campaign, try to get to know your people you're out campusing with. Because you can make a whole bunch of connections, like networking. I met so many people who from different professions who offer me less recommendation, advice. And it's a great way to kind of, if you need, like for a job, or to go to graduate, go, let's say I'm going to law school, a letter of recommendation can go a long way. Cows, the calves actually right now, filling up some buckets full of rice bran, and we're gonna bring it over to this calf over here. Okay, so for my community service, I decided to volunteer for Camellia Crossing, which is like a almost kind of a festival. And there's also a 5K run and a one mile run. And it's a glow run, so there's a lot of like glow sticks and like glow jewelry and stuff that you can wear. And I, the part that I volunteered for was to pick up the trash and stuff after the race. And so that, honestly, that was like, you would think picking up trash is like kind of boring, but it was actually quite interesting trying to like like seeing everyone run because i used to be a former runner so i got to meet a few interesting people during the whole thing it was like it was a few people from pre-professional society at ul we also could volunteer for that club as well so i just decided to kill two birds and one stone and it turns out that two of the people who were in my group were people who were from like the same area that i was from so it was really cool to like get to meet them get to know them, and like where they're from and whatnot but like community service is just it's a good way to give back to the community and like you also you also feel good doing it because you feel like you're actually doing something nice
Okay, so for my volunteer project, I went to my stepmom's work and I um, filed papers and cleaned up and called them up on a lot of things that they needed to catch up on. Um, the first office was for Miss Missy and Miss Chelsea. In that office, I filed the papers and I cleaned their desk and I dusted their window seals and their desk and printers and all of that and I swept their floors which is really dirty because it's a um it's an 18 wheeler business and everyone walks in there all dirty and stuff so it was kind of nasty. This lady built a cage for her five-year-old son for Christmas. It's gonna be a little cage for his old, his new little guinea pigs that she's buying them. Watch. What are we doing right now? We're at Special Olympics volunteering for these, you know. Yeah. So, um, currently, oh, <laughs> currently we are helping with the hearing. Um, we're the just, we're athletes. Just them to a room. We're yeah, we're, them to a room. we're walking them to the room, escorting the athletes. Escorting so that's where we are right now. Fun um, job. Yeah. He's a 725. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we just moved from helping the healthy hearing section and we're about to start, um, once they deliver their meals, we'll start handing out meals to the athletes. Um, so yeah, just a little update on what we're doing right now. Yep, just on break waiting right now. Yeah. Boring. No, you're lying. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's boring waiting. We have to put. Uh, it's boring waiting, and we're leaving it like that. Swimming. We're gonna take this spot. Uh, we're gonna time the racers. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing pretty right simple. now. So pretty simple. Really fun to watch. I wanna swim now. Yeah. 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 Swim now. <laughs> They're actually really good at this. Like a lot better than I would ever be. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Right now we're watching. Miley, he's doing the mixed 50-yard freestyle. 